Hello everybody, this is Raven, and I'm doing a new type of video uh, for anybody that's new to StarMade. Um, it's basically just going to be a quick tutorial of the bare bones, minimum, of what you need to build a ship. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, when you spawn into StarMade, when you first load up your universe, you'll pop up right here next to this giant pillar which is actually a shop. It's where you buy and sell various items that you acquire in game. Um, for the credits, which you can see at the top left hand corner of my screen. Now I have a lot more than you'll have when you spawn in. That's because this is my own single player and I use admin commands because I'm cheap like that. Um, and basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is build yourself a first ship. Again, I have a lot more stuff than you guys will have, but I'll show you the basics with what you'll have at the beginning and what you can acquire at the beginning. So, step one, you're going to want to actually put down a ship core. The best way to think about this is Minecraft in space, so what we're going to, but you need something to build on. So, step one, put down a ship core. And by doing that, and to do that, you just click X. It'll bring up this right here, it'll say new ship, and you can name it. Uh, for this, we'll go tutorial. Why not? So we'll bring that in, and here's this this block. Now you can place stuff on it if you want. That's really really slow. So never even bother with that. Just click R on the ship court, and you'll go into this flight mode. This lets you move around, fly around the universe all you want, but you can't do much with just a core so let's build ourselves a little bit you know more effective ship so all I'm gonna do is hit spacebar and I go to build mode this lets me fly around in three dimensions all around the ship and you'll see if I can get this to work for me oh boy. there we go oh that's right you'll see this box and what this box is is where you're placing a block. Um, so, we're going to start with, well, if you're going to fly around in a ship, you need some sort of power source. So, I've selected power down here, which is number two, that's what, the, what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and place a few power blocks here. Um, da -de -da -de -da -de -da. And we'll kind of do this pineapple shape, which is a pretty efficient shape. Now, the pa power has a lot of little things to it. Um, I'm not going to go into that. It's it's kind of complicated, and for the purposes of this, don't worry about it. So we're going to place our power blocks here, and so we've got a whole bunch of power blocks. Now, if you look, I'm moving way slower. I'm switch back to flight mode here. I'm moving a lot slower now because the mass of my ship has gone up, and there's no thrusters, nothing to move me attached to this thing. So I'm going to bring up my inventory here. And uh, the default for that is I, so if you just click I, you'll bring that up. And we'll go ahead and bring these down and click 3, and there's our thrusters. So we'll go ahead and, I don't know, add, well, we'll put 8 on. No, we'll put 9 on here. It looks kind of interesting like that. So there we go, now we've got, and if I switch back to flight mode, a, an incredibly fast ship. Um, so that's all well and good we can move around now but we still can't do anything with the ship itself so let's go ahead and make it functional so the first thing you're gonna want to be able to do is gather resources so that's primarily done through the use of a salvager or salvage cannons so what we're gonna do is put down or turn this into a salvager um, now to do that you need this salvage computer right here that's on number five so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a salvage computer right there now you'll see this little blo uh, box around it that basically means it's selected um, what you need to have uh, your computers selected when you place whatever they control or else they won't link up so if I do this you know they're, they're down but they're not going to do anything um, however, if I click C, 
on there, and that's how you select in build mode. And I go ahead and I place down, yeah, we'll go five salvagers on either side. Like so. You see those, it has a whole bunch of boxes around it, and that means it's selected so that when I select this computer later on, so that it, I'll, I'm telling it to fire, it will fire these two cannons. Now, if I were to link these up like so, they would fire together. Um, all of this would be one beam. But if I take that away, it'll be two beams. And that's more effective for salvagers. Um, in fact, it's more effective for a lot of stuff. Now, if they were connected, now this right here, none of these are connected because it's on a diagonal. But if they're actually connected on the flat surface, yeah, they're considered connected. So we got five block salvagers right there, so we're, we're pretty good on that. Um, but we don't have a way to defend ourselves yet. So let's add something to defend ourselves. So we're going to add antimatter cannons, uh, usually referred to as AMCs. Now I'm going to place this antimatter cannon right here, and you'll see it automatically selects for me. And we're going to go ahead and grab antimatter cannons, and we're going to do... We're going to do another, yeah, full five block long array. Now, I realize it's starting to look like a giant cube. It is. Um, this is probably what your first ship is going to look like. Um, it's effective. It's not pretty. Later on, you can you start to build really pretty things. For now, whatever. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do we take a look in here. Now there are docking modules and all sorts of stuff you can do in here. This is again just the bare bones uh, basics. So we're going to go ahead and add shields. Now shields, well they shield you. Um, they they tend to help a lot. There are AI pirates that fly around. So we're going to add some of these in here. And they um, they enjoy killing you. They really enjoy killing you. So we're going to go ahead and try to protect ourselves a little bit, like so. Now, notice I'm leaving a little space here. That's going to be our access point, because you still have to directly uh, interface with the core. But, if they shoot, and if they shoot out the core, uh, your ship is done. You're dead. Ship's game's over. It's, yeah, not fun. So what we're going to do is, we go into flight mode, we can fly around here. And we'll go over to this asteroid, which I kind of mined earlier, because this is the second take of this. But, whatever. And we'll just go right up here. You saw a little flash. That's okay. So, number two is our salvage computer. And you can see that here in the weapons menu. Access by just clicking T. Or you can click I or N, which will bring up navigation. I will bring up the inventory. And you can switch to whichever tab here. You know, whatever works. Um... But number one is my weapons computer. Now that's those a uh, AMCs or antimatter cannons. Right underneath that, in num in hot bar slot two, is the salvage computer. So we need resources. We're going to go ahead and come over here and just hold down right click, and we'll start gathering resources. Um, and this is kind of how you you get your initial cash. Now if you see these right here, I'm going to stop for a second. See this right here? This is ore, and it's more valuable than the regular rock in a lot of cases. There's five levels of ore, uh, level five being, you know, the most pricey, the most, uh, sells for the most, and the most useful in the uh, in-game crafting system. Again, I'm not going to go into that. It's a little weird, even I don't really understand it all that well. Um, I tend to just sell stuff at shops and then buy it, or admin command, whatever. Um, so we've gathered up some stuff, so let's take a look. And so over here we've got our a uh, few different kinds of ore, we've got some sand, we've got some rock. Now this stuff is what's going to make us, you know, at least a little bit of money. It'll let us upgrade our ship a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and fly over this way and we'll open up the shop now you bring that up by hitting B now this is where you can buy and sell 
all sorts of stuff and this is a very very small amount of stuff that you can sell but we're going to go ahead and go to inventory to sell the rock I mean, if you watch right up here you'll see the credits go up we'll sell the sand and sell that stuff that stuff and that's how you can make some money now I'm not spending a whole lot of time on there because I have plenty of money but we're looking at this ship and saying well this is a kind of an ugly ship it, it's a cube for lack of a better well no not for lack of a better term it is a cube so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add hull now hull serves uh, two purposes one it's it's armor basically it's not exceptionally good armor as of yet but it's armor I'm using hardened hull uh, normally you'll get just your basic hull and um, but I like the look of hardened hull so yeah that, that's what's happening here um, so there we go we added a little bit of hull we'll, and I'll, I'll start showing you the wedges now this is one thing that it has over minecraft uh, to get over here all I did was hold down control and I moved this right here and this will change the angle of the wedge so when I place it it will actually you know be in the right spot so we'll go ahead and turn this into a flying diamond of doom now there is a, an advanced build mode it does make life a lot easier and I will go into that if you guys end up wanting me to do another one of these um, but again you know, just the basics here. Um, go ahead and sometimes this helps. All right, there we go. Just finish this out. Make it well, armor it. Make it look a little bit prettier. Now remember, um, it has uh, shields already, right? But those shields will run out and then you want a little bit more armor there so now they have to get through the shields all this armor well this little bit of armor anyway and then they can get at your core now obviously it's still up front now we want to fix that so what we're actually going to do is, and there's a whole bunch of colors of uh, hull and stuff but I tend to like you know the basics so we'll go ahead and cover this up. Now, AMCs, salvagers, stuff like that, they'll fire straight through your ship. So you don't really have to worry. Um, but we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to place a cockpit. Now, this is like a little camera. So when I switch to flight mode, well, it doesn't really do a whole lot here. But in a lot of cases, and you might see it here as soon as I add some more wedges, um, there will be stuff here and this will move you up a little bit. I don't know if you can really see it, but it, it will. <laughs> Just trust me, it, it's helpful, especially if, you're, uh, if your cockpit's a long ways away or something. But we'll go ahead and add some wedges. Make it look pretty again. Not that I think this thing could ever really look pretty, but hey, I do what I can. Uh, there we go. Um, there we go. And so we've got that. We'll go ahead and add one there just for a little bit more. Uh, OCD's kicking in. OCD's kicking in. Uh, now there are also corner blocks that you can use, um, which are pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and throw a few. Uh, we'll change the color. We'll use red. Um, these are kind of interesting. Now they don't go sideways, unfortunately. So if I, you know, set one, uh, let's, let's do that. Oh, there we go. So if we, you know, set them there, there's that overhang, and unfortunately they don't go straight to there. Um, sideways I really wish they did they really need to add that but you know alpha we'll see so you can add corners I'm not going to but that's just something else that's there for 
you know, detail work or whatever. So we've got our ship here. It's got a camera in the front. It's basically just a flying diamond of doom-ish thing. Um, but there's still this direct line to the core here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a flex door. Now these act kind of like the doors in Minecraft. Um, they're a solid block and it just provides a little bit of a tiny little bit of a buffer zone. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot more you can do with them. We'll go ahead and jump in flight mode here. And we can fly around and do what we want. Uh, now mind you, this one's not super fast, but here at the bottom, let's see if I can do this, bring up inventory. Alright, so here at the bottom you can see the power. So this is the power generation I have. Now firing salvagers, flying, uh, firing your AMCs, whatever, that all gener uh, costs power. So if you're not making enough power, this is going to go down until your power is gone. And then it'll slowly regen. Um, on this side here, you see there's sort of two shades here. This bottom one is your your HP. That's how much health your craft has. Specifically your core, I believe. But this top one here is your shields. So they have to go through all these shields and then get to your core and knock that out. Um, other than that, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, but yeah, and you can pretty you can build things that are absolutely massive. Um, I know, I believe I reviewed. I think it was only like 135 blocks long. Was uh, the SFW Libra, but um, Delmont uh, did a carrier that was something along the lines of, I believe. I believe the number was 739 uh, blocks or meters long and probably 300, 400 meters wide. You know, and, and I'm working on one that's 700 meters long, 400 meters wide, and like 200 tall. Um, these things can get huge. You can add turrets and you can dock other ships, like I could dock this one inside of another ship, and it's really expansive. Again, this is just the basics. Um, if you guys liked this and want to see more, tell me, leave a comment. Um, if you want to, if you end up liking the channel and all, subscribe. And other than that, have a great day.